water constitutes two-thirds of our planet. It is responsible for all life forms and our own existence. But with all this abundance, only 1% is available to us. Rivers form a majority of this source. ಅಜಿವಂಗಡ ನಾವು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಚಂಡ್ಯಾರ್ ಬೀತ ಅಜಿ ತುಚಿ ತಾತ ನೋಜು ಬಣ ಅಜಿ ಜಂಟಿ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಣನ್ ಅತ ಅವು ಚುಯ್ತ ಒಚೋನ್ ಕಾಳಿ ನದಿಚ ಚಂಡ್ಯಾರ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಕೊರೂನ್ ಆ ಮಗಲ ಕಾ ಮಾಗಣೆ ಹಾತಿ ಕೊರೂನ್ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ಬಿಸ್ತ್ರ ಹಾತಿ ಕೊರೂನ್ ಕುಸಲ್ಕರಾಗಿ ಮಾನ್ ದೂನ್ ಗಾರ ಎತ Gajanan and his 100-year-old grandmother are on a journey to the source of the river that feeds their little hamlet, Bhattakudi. It's a journey to the root of their lifeline, the Kali. The Kali is a river that feeds their little hamlet. flows through the Uttara Kannada district of Karnataka in India. She rolls through breathtaking landscapes before joining the Arabian Sea. The landscape Kali cuts through is a mosaic of peculiar geology. And for the most part She cuts through dark volcanic rocks making the water appear black and hence the name Kali or the Black River. Like most rivers in India, Kali too is born in the mountains. A little mountain stream in the heart of the Western Ghats is her birthplace. As she flows, she nourishes the land with life.
Bhattagudi, a hamlet of ten houses, is among those whose sustenance solely depends on this river. Janaki and her grandson are Kunabis, a local tribe that survives mostly on agriculture. Kunabis and Gaulis are among the main tribes found in these regions. These tribes, though, vary in their traditions, are very similar in their way of life. Almost every aspect of their life here is shaped by water. Nowhere else is the impact of water on life more evident than here. The river provides not just water to drink, but also for paddy and livestock. Janaki and her family survive mostly on agriculture. The river, rain and the nutrient-rich soil makes the valley ideal for rice cultivation. Patagudi sits nestled between the rich forests of Dandeli Anshi Tiger Reserve. The reserve spreads over an area of 815 square kilometers and is located amidst the Western Ghats mountain ranges. It is one of the top hotspots for biodiversity in the world. In recent years, thanks to the dedication of the State Forest Department, the forest and wildlife have flourished. The Tiger Reserve is a remarkable habitat, a mosaic of dry deciduous jungles, rich evergreen forests and high-altitude grasslands. It is rich with biodiversity and is home to some of the planet's most rare and beautiful species. This is among those rare places on Earth 
where tigers roam the evergreen jungles. The reserve is also a haven for spectacular birds. While the birders are in search of that rare endemic warbler to add to the checklist, the flagship species here is the hornbill. the Indian Grey Hornbill, the Malabar Grey Hornbill, the Malabar Pied and the Great Pied Hornbill are all found here. A hornbill's main diet is fruits and figs are at the top of the list. A single hornbill can feed on fruits from up to 40 trees a day making them excellent seed dispersers and rightfully earning them the title farmers of the forest. The Tandeli area is abundant with fig trees and is one reason they are found here in large numbers. The birds are so crucial to these forests that the area has been declared a hornbill conservation reserve. While the hornbill's contribution to the forest is remarkable, their own life story is nothing short of a wonder. The hornbill's made for life, and with it comes great responsibility. Once the female is ready to lay her eggs, she finds a suitable tree hollow and settles inside. With the help of soil, seeds, and her own droppings, she seals the nest allowing only for a beak to come out. This provides safety from other hornbills and predators, but comes at a cost. The female will be locked inside here for about three months. She sheds all her feathers and turns flightless. source of food is the male which comes several times a day to feed her and the chicks. A threat to this male means death to the entire family. It is only when the chicks are old enough to leave the nest and fly that the female breaks open the nest. A great sacrifice that usually pays off well. While the place offers so much for the avian lovers, there's something remarkable and rare that attracts the big cat enthusiasts. The Dundaley Unshi Tiger Reserve is probably one's best bet for spotting a black leopard a melanistic colour variant of the more common Indian leopard. While sightings are quite rare, dark evenings offer the best chance to glimpse this elusive mythical animal. The camera traps though reveal their relative abundance in the area. Tigers, leopards and other small cats also pose for these cameras.
The camera traps reveal the unseen side of the jungle, a secret door into the mystical world. मी काळी नदीच्या शेंड्यार पूजा करूंक वयता आणि तसेच आमक वयताना भरपूर त्रास जाता पाऊस पडटा वाट बरी गा वाशेला मेळटा गये मेळटा द स्मॉल हॅमलेट्स इन दीज रिमोट रिजन्स हॅव व्हेरी लिमिटेड रोड कनेक्टिव्हिटी मोस्ट हॅव टू वॉक एट लीस्ट हाफ अ डे टू गेट टू द नियरेस्ट मोटरेबल रोड Since the villages fall in core areas of the Tiger Reserve, the government has offered to relocate them to areas with better access to healthcare and education. Most of the villages have now relocated, and only a handful remain in these areas. Kali is one of the shortest rivers in India. She flows only 184 kilometers before she reaches the sea. And in this short distance there are seven dams built across her. Her unobstructed natural flow is only 8 kilometers. The dams have submerged vast patches of forest and displaced the wildlife there. But the dams do provide electricity and also help in storing water for the dry months. The reservoirs are teeming with fish life. It's not just the birds that take advantage of this, but also the fishermen. Each morning, as they set out to receive Kali's bounty, they almost never ever return empty-handed. Kali also has a fun side to her. The gushing rapids make for one of the best rafting experiences down south. Ecotourism here provides a clean green employment alternative to traditional methods. The forest department in association with the local communities has started many ecotourism activities. Wildlife safaris, trekking, camping and rafting are some of them. Camping in the serene settings of Kulgi, Anshi or Castle Rock camps. and going for a hike in the jungle is also a way of inducting awareness among urban travelers frequent nature camps are conducted here for children by several organizations a beautiful way to capture the imagination create awareness and set the right culture for future generations Two streams converge at Manare to form Kali. And as she flows along, Kanari, Vaki, Sakali, Pandari and other tributaries join her. The true source of a river is often a mystery. And long may it be that way.
Janaki and her grandson have traveled almost a day now. But the journey has taken a toll on Janaki and she decides not to travel further. Gajanan has to make the journey alone now. With each passing generation, the tradition must go on. आज आता आमगे खूब जाणटी झाली म्हणून आमका पोरागीत वयचे पडले आम्ही वचून काळी नदीची शेंड्याची पूजा करून आम्ही तिंगा काय कार्यक्रम आता करता आणि घरा येता Kali ends her journey in the Arabian Sea at Karwar. She nurtures land and life through her journey and she'll continue to do so. Gajanan reaches one of the sources, the mythical birthplace of the river, to offer his prayers to Kali. A true mother who gives and nurtures without bounds. <laughs> 